What's up bros and welcome. Now today I'm going to be showing some Flashpoint Paradox customs that I've made, so let's get down to business. Now for the first Flashpoint custom in today's video, we have Batman. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Battenson Batman minifigure. We're gonna attach this red belt piece, which is from Skylar from Ninjago Hunted. Then, we're gonna take this random Batman torso piece. I really wish I could just erase the golden belt print because that would make this minifigure a lot more accurate and make it really good. And then we're gonna take this random Batman cape and attach it to the torso. We're gonna attach this black armor piece onto the torso as well. And then we're gonna take this Ocean Master headpiece from the second Aquaman movie, pop it onto the torso. And then for the last piece, we're gonna attach this black Batman cowl piece. And then we have the completed Flashpoint Batman costume. Now, this is my third and most accurate Flashpoint Batman custom, specifically thanks to one piece, which is the Ocean Master headpiece. Now, for my other Flashpoint Batman customs, I've always just taken a Batman cowl and added some red Sharpie onto them, which is not a purist method, so those customs aren't really that good. But this time, I used an Ocean Master headpiece, I got this idea from ZW Productions when he made his own Flashpoint Batman custom for my last Purist Custom minifigure contest, and I didn't really ask him, but I just thought I'd use the same idea for my Flashpoint custom, so if he sees this, sorry for not asking your permission, but I just thought I would use this because it's a really interesting concept, but shout out to ZW Productions for giving me the idea to use this head for a Flashpoint Batman custom, but um, yeah. That's basically it for this custom. Now for the second Flashpoint custom in today's video, we have Cyborg. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a random Ultron minifigure from the Avengers Age of Ultron sets. The torso we're going to be using is from a Cyborg minifigure, except I replaced this arm right here with this Cyborg robot arm from Benny from the Lego Movie 2. Then, we're gonna attach this silver Nexo Knights armor piece to make Cyborg a bit bulkier, and then we're just gonna take this random Cyborg headpiece and this random Cyborg helmet hairpiece. Pop that on, and now for his Cyborg arm, we have to attach some accessories. First, we're gonna take this round cylinder piece, and then we're gonna attach this Transclear red stud. And then we've completed Cyborg's cannon arm, and then we have the completed Flashpoint Cyborg custom. Now, this Cyborg custom is specifically based off of the version from the Flashpoint Paradox animated movie. In that movie, Cyborg was really big and bulky and beefy, and he was just like a bigger, stronger version of Cyborg in my opinion. That's what I decided to base this custom off of because in the original Flashpoint Paradox comics, Cyborg just looked generic, just like a normal Cyborg, so I really like how the animated movie version of Cyborg was a bit different and a bit stronger, and it just looked cooler in my opinion, so that's why I gave him this Nexo Knight's armor piece, so that's basically it for this custom. Now for the third Flashpoint custom in today's video, we have Wonder Woman. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Deadshot minifigure. The torso we're going to be using is from Macy from Nexonites. It's the golden version of her suit. We also have some silver arms and some black hands. Then, we're going to take this white cape piece and attach it to the torso. And then, we're going to take this headpiece from Captain Carter from the Marvel Studios minifigure series blind bags, and then for the last piece, we're gonna take this Atlantean guard helmet piece from the first DCEU Justice League movie, and then we have the completed Flashpoint Paradox Wonder Woman costume. 
Now, this costume is of course based off of the Flashpoint Paradox Comics version of Wonder Woman. This is pretty different compared to the normal Wonder Woman suit, and I do think the Flashpoint Paradox version of Wonder Woman does have a very interesting and cool design. So, that's basically it for this costume. Now for the fourth and most generic costume in today's video, we have Aquaman. Now, the legs of this costume minifigure are from the DCEU Justice League movie Aquaman minifigure. The torso we're going to be using is from the comic accurate version of Aquaman, except I replaced the hands with some golden hands to match the print on the legs. And then we're going to take this random headpiece, which is used for a bunch of different minifigures. And then we're also going to take this blonde hair piece, which is from the old Lloyd Garmin on minifigures from Ninjago. And then we have the completed Flashpoint Paradox Aquaman costume. Now, I gotta admit, this is the most generic and boring costume in this entire video. I mean, the Aquaman from the Flashpoint Paradox comics is literally identical to the normal Aquaman. He looks the same, it's just that he feels more evil because he is evil. So that's why I decided to give him this angry head print because it does make him feel a bit more menacing and quote unquote evil. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for this costume. But anyway, I hope you Rose enjoyed these Flashpoint Paradox customs that I've made. I thought since the Flash movie is coming out soon, this would be a great opportunity to make some customs based off of one of my favorite comic books of all time, or favorite comic book storylines of all time, the Flashpoint Paradox. And yes, there is no Flash custom in this video because I honestly think I didn't need to make one for this video. I just decided to make some of the more interesting and unique characters from the Flashpoint Paradox storyline. And don't worry, in a few days, probably on the same day that the Flash movie is going to be released, I'm going to be making some Flash customs based off of the movie. And um, yeah, feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make custom minifigures. Have a great day. See ya, bros.